Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is Andres, and technically this is something where I say, hey, welcome to the Andres Gobe show or something like that, but uh, this is more of a public service announcement for um, the program and trying to reach out to all those that uh, that follow me across multiple different platforms. I'm looking at Instagram on my phone, looking at YouTube Live here on my webcam, and I'm reporting to all those podcast subscribers across all directories live as my first live show here on my, on my other phone, because... Uh, Yesterday, July 4th, we did have uh, the first major earthquake in about 20 years, which was uh, 6.4, and I know I felt that one uh, here in Southern California, but uh, a few, about an hour and a half ago, I'd say, we had um, about a 5.0, it's, they're still adjusting that number in what it's called the high desert. So for any of you that are, are familiar with the high desert you know, here in Southern California, it's when you literally go up the mountain to Hesperia. That's kind of the direction you're going to Las Vegas. And that 5.0 is the one that we really felt down here. But that was upstaged also because, well, just to give you context, since the 6.4 earthquake yesterday, we had 1,700 aftershocks. Even the geyser at Yellowstone has been a lot more active than recent. It's been crazy. But Friday evening, uh, shortly after this other earthquake in Hesperia, we had a 7.1 earthquake uh, hit the same spot where the 6.4 was yesterday. And because of that, and because I, I have uh, little kids that are growing up and experiencing earthquakes for the first time, it's it was good to think about the earthquake safety. So uh, for those that are of school age, they, they hear about the uh, style drop and um, cover for um, uh, for those safety tips. But the safety tips that I want to go over real quick are what happens in case something cataclysmic, something catastrophic. Well, that's what we hope doesn't come to pass. But 7.1, imagine that happened. Uh, the epicenter was in the uh, major metropolitan city like Los Angeles this you know uh, how much damage would that have caused how many uh, god forbid buildings fall people get trapped and stuff so in those situations i was reminded about like uh, checking gas lines checking um uh, an empty house uh, that uh, if you're out of the house to make sure that when you're stepping in to uh, make sure that things are still in place and if they're not to uh, be careful with it broken glass move it out of the way and thinking about my little kids like what if this happened at night what then so uh, it's prudent to remember, especially in a digital age, how we all rely on our smartphones, but then we panic when our smartphones are not charged, that these things didn't exist the whole time. It's great for communication, but not so much for um, like, like, uh, uh, what is it? Uh, as being your survival tool because it's not it's just it's a digital swiss army knife but it's not going to get you far in a place where cell towers are not working there's no running water no electricity no way to charge your phone so if your battery's dead what then do you do okay so uh some of the small things that uh that i recommend are well uh, there's meal re meal replacement bars like um, it's some granola bars that you're probably familiar with that have a more balanced intake of the, the macros, the main macros, which are um, healthy fats, uh, healthy um, carbs, and uh, healthy protein. So uh, whether it's vegetarian or whether it's um, um, whey based on milk, it's the, it, those are the kind of mixtures you're going to want. And believe me, for those of us that eat clean, it's not going to matter in a, in a, a situation of serious ca catastrophe because there's just no time for that. So you got to look after yourself and the, the, the ones you love and, um, and you have to be um, sure that you have enough water to make sure that all of you have something because there's no running water. How are you going to get water? Um, in my case, I gone camping a lot, so I have a lot of camping equipment. I just actually got back from Target, a very busy Target, but not many people were there for the reasons I was. I picked up the last small propane tanks because I have a, a gas a propane powered grill, a small one, because for camping, um, I have inflatable mattresses it, in just in case, you know, because we took them for camping sometimes as well. We also have a, um, a care, well, propane powered gas lamps and um, also. Also, battery-powered devi uh, devices for lights as well. So we got a lot of different things in that in that respect. I got a lot of water just in case that that might happen. I have at least two weeks worth of water just in case. I'm talking about potable water, so that's drinkable water. It's not like it's just uh, recycled water or something like that, you know. So there's uh, a lot there that uh, is is like to, to look after the family. Um, my, my my I learned this from my mom because her preparedness for the Y2K was just through the roof. My goodness, she was ready to survive two years in the mountains just in case the the computers took over the world or something like that. But uh, now as these earthquakes are getting uh, more frequent and and 
quite possibly more uh, a lot stronger uh, you never know it's, and it's just a good reminder to remember um have some handy bars just in case uh, in case you're not able to uh, to cook immediately or not able to have a meal immediately that you want to have some sustenance to keep going that you have water to keep you hydrated because that's the most important part actually um some type of a swiss army knife or some kind of a, a, a tool that has multi-function um, and if you have any like propane powered devices, that's also a good thing for you to uh, to have as well. So, uh, like in my case, um, because we were blowing up a lot of fireworks, uh, just in case, I ended up getting more of these lighters because you never know. Yeah, we have matches and uh, strike two rocks if you can, but you need a lot of patience for it. And another thing, yeah, Facebook, uh, of course, the propane. Uh, tanks that I have. I have big ones, but believe me, carting those things around is going to be a lot more inconvenient if you have to move around a lot. So here's to hoping that we don't have to worry about a, like a, the cataclysmic earthquake in the middle of the city. But again, 6.4 yesterday morning, uh, 7.1 same spot today. And that's after a 5.0 in the high desert, which is a lot closer to me. And I felt that one a lot stronger than yesterday. And in between those two earthquakes, at least 1,700 aftershocks. And a lot more seismic activity happening on the San Andreas Fault. Uh, look, yesterday's earthquake was also picked up by a Richter scale in Pennsylvania. Like that's crazy, you know. So they may not be um, like Northridge scary right now, but that's because the epicenter is not in the major metropolitan area. But God forbid that it is. So remember, look after yourself. Look after your family. Um, be prepared because you never know and you rather be in the know instead of not and and just have some kind of preparedness and that's why I felt like firing this up because I just finished walking this through my kids who I was trying to put this uh, with my wife to also um, help put to sleep and making sure that they're looked after so they can go to sleep peacefully because apparently their cousin uh, at least one of them um, was, wasn't taking it too well as he was really freaking out so uh, yeah kids can be really scared here and it's uh, up to us adults to make sure to tell them hey it's gonna be okay even when we're scared like crazy too. So yeah, just remember, uh, just to look after yourselves and look after your loved ones, be ready and know where people are. Uh, if there's a major earthquake that strikes in your area, remember if you, ha you, you have a gas shut off valve, do not turn on any gas powered items inside the house until you check that there are no gas leaks. Um, if the valve is off, uh, then you can reset it after you make sure there are no more gas leaks. And if you're not certain, then you definitely want to call the gas company when they're able to get out there. If there's no power, make sure you have your flashlights. Of course, your smartphones, but if your smartphone's dead, what then? You want to have a battery-powered um, flashlight for that and recommendation of battery-powered radio because uh, emergency broadcast systems are meant to go up when um, there's, there's no um, power also. Uh, and more potable water. You want to have water to be able to drink and use whenever you need to. Okay, so uh, that's all I wanted to share with you know with all of you. My first live um, live stream across multiple devices, and I didn't think I was going to be doing it about this. But uh, for those of us in Southern California, and remember all the earthquakes. Well, this is another wake up call in case you get uh, you're resting your laurels. But uh, big ones coming. Whenever it comes, just be ready. Okay, that does it for this one. I'm going to start shutting off across all of them. And I hope those of us in Southern California can have a good night because I know I'm going to go to sleep. So, all right, that's it. This is Andres from Everything Across Everything signing off.